is uh, super strong in all, almost all stat lines. Yeah. Uh, top damage and top kills, obviously, because of how consistent he is. Nana bagit mo nga. And I gotta say, Yuji is uh, one of those, the pillars, pal, guy. Pinaka pillar din na pinakapitan ng Brandy Sports. Aside from, obviously, the rest of the squad, which everyone consistently performs as well. Kaya ang hirap, ang hirap it beat. And ang hirap pag bet against Brandy Sports. Oh, Tulad sa Paul Mo. Tama, yes. <laughs> tama, John. Yes, uh, Sir Dex. Yeah. So, Brandy Sports, so si Yuji ngayon ng back to back MV, regular season MVP natin. So, well deserved. At being a mage player, assassin player. Iko yung playmaker mostly eh. So, okay. Kung nalulugi ka kayo, ikaw yung may kapangalian na kaya mong balik sa rin taro. Or That's true. just salvaging the game from a loss. So tingnan natin kung kaya nilang maging mas consistent pa dito. And yun nga, sinabi ko kanina, gusto may mga to para mag-champion ulit. Yeah. We will now look at the signal order. Of course, Yako Tisanya is on D, Tets, and Few. Hindi na po rin sa atin ang mga players. And of course, they've been the champions of MPL Season 2. Wanna ask you guys, sino ba kailangan nating abangan dito sa team na to? I think I have to give it to Yahoo consistently yeah, as well. Too. And uh, mga pillars na sila. Si D, uh, I think Few has been a great... Looks happen na dito in one show that we had, right? Yeah. Where Few was like, uh, na surprise mga tao, like, why is Few not the highest started player exactly. here? Yeah. I think uh, they rely a lot on team play a lot more this time around. The individual star power, which is uh, power talaga yan. Yun din yung kakayanan ng... For Signal, I think it's uh, super important how they utilize Selena against Brent. Because uh, Selena, the curse of Brent, you can never forget that. So, Signal plays Selena very well. Brent could be the fifth tonight. Talagang could make the difference. Dito. So, will we see? Will we see a priority ban on the Selena? Well, Selena that actually happened. During sa kanilang last na pagkikita, I still believe there was a Selena pick. And I think that eventually na overcome now, no, Brandy Sports yung kaina na yun. They actually won against Signal Ultra after her first game loss. But I think it's more about their creativity in draft. Kasi parang mas may nabigay ang Brandy Sports na bago dun sa draft. Like, uh, Hanabi. If I'm not mistaken, it's Hanabi. Alpha. Ni Coco. Si Coco pag gumamit ka Exactly. Right? So, now, it's actually two different sides of the coin. Eh. Parang yung Signal Ultra, you have these standard drafts. Na sometimes, nasabi natin sa mga show na pinag-usama natin is, hindi sila um, ma ma medyo predictable and signal ultra it comes to draft in terms of drafts but they are really really strong mechanically speaking yes. now you have brand naman na medyo creative when they do try to experiment we will have the draft pretty soon but just want to talk more about that kind of uh, two sides of the coin for both of these teams what can you say about that two sides of the coin where consistency meets like good really strong team fighting yeah so, yun yung mga game na gusto mo makita, yung mga explosive na unpredictable. I think itong match na yun, it's a classic. Uh, we've seen it change time and time again, season 1, season 2. Ang laki ng pagkakaiba nila. I'm really excited. I, I hope may malakita yung bago in season yeah. 3. Kung ano yung napalunan ng team na to, halimbawa si Brent, si Selena nalo na season 1, they actually dictated the meta na sobrang aggressive. The, uh, uh, early rotations, tsaka mga early pickups, and they won season 1 because of that. Season 2, may pinausin signal ultra, which is being defensive. Okay. Rock solid defense at yun ang naging susi para matalo ni Bren no season 2. So season 3, tingnan natin kung ano yung oh mas nalabas goodness. dito na playstyle. Wow. Very interesting thought. Yes, Mr. Swirly. You were talking about na sobrang they have to think outside the box ng Signal Ultra. So, Yako in particular, di ba sobrang hiling niya mag-carry. I'd like to see him step mm. out of that comfort zone and play a different kind of yeah. hero. Well, we can see Grok and Kaja pa rin ang priority na band. The mga teams, you also Your have the Harry. I want to ask that. No nang yari sa ating last season, Kame was a pivotal hero no season two finals. Meron bang ganon na hero for this finals? Ano ba malalupas ba natin si Granger? <laughs> Maybe. Granger ba tayo? Maybe. I think I'm kind of expecting Granger uh, as well as Guinevere. Uh, high pick priority as well for these teams. Si Bren Esports specifically, they started using the Guinevere. Kufra combo, mm -hmm. uh, Kufra, by the way, oh, solid tank yun na pag-aagawan din for no, sure. Yeah. That was a Kufra. Yeah, Kufra yung isa sa matututukan dito dahil grabe yung zone, yung pang zone away niya ng pag-bouncing ball. So, so, talagang kahit yung, kahit yung dash yeah. ng mga iba't ibang heroes yeah. ay mahuhold mo talaga. And looks like Kimi and Harith pa rin tinutukan. Brent Esports may interesting ban sila dito, Harith. They are 10-0 with this hero pero 
Ano kaya ang plano nila? That's true. 10-0 yep. ang buong... Sige nga. Bren! Para Sige sa nga! Lock mo nga! Naka-hover. But of course, Ito, <laughs> nandiyan pa rin naman sa first eh. Yung Kufra, you also have uh, Lunox. Chonch? Yep. Wow! Something na hindi natin... I mean, when I asked you guys, dun sa mga shows natin before yes. this finals, you guys were saying Cho will not be the priority pick. But what is this we are seeing from Brent? Is it just because they're so comfortable with the Hayes Cho? I think I, yeah, yeah. they're falling yeah. back to what's comfortable for them, and it's two-sided. At the same time, we've been hearing so many people saying na sawa na mag Cho si Hayes, yes. and ang daming effectivity ng purify ngayon, ang ganda mag purify ngayon. So, how, it's very mysterious. Kung bakit nila pala pinig to? Yeah. Kufra. And there we go. Kufra and Tunox na kaan. Kukulin is nag-signal ko sila. So, what? Okay. You know, Brad is used to doing this. Nag-hover-hover na sila. But we can really never say until it's already locked. I kind of want to ask you guys about Tunox and Kufra. What can you say about both of these heroes? Ang dami nilang announced toolkit na nabag dito sa sa matchup. Like si Kufra, yun nga, nabagit ko kanina. May tanking capability and at the same time, kanyang pigilan yung mga dashes ay mga mobility ng kalaban. Lunox, damage dealing, a, a lot of evasion. So, all all over, maganda yung, ano, maganda yung toolkits talaga nila. And bukang makakita ata tayo ng Esmeralda. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you know, natalo ko si Doggy about the Esmeralda and Lunox just destroys the hero, sabi niya, basically That's speaking. Well, I mean, Rockard, can you explain on this? Uh, malaking bagay si Lunox, especially against Esmeralda. Yeah. Gamitan mo lang yan ng Necklace of Durance para mabawasan yung healing niya from the shield. Yeah. Uh, same effect to carry, usually, yeah. kaya ayaw dan mag-carry. At the same time, Pag, nabita, pag napakawalan mo kasi si Esmeralda, unleash shields eh. Alam mo yung mas, malakal, mas makapal na yung shield niya kaysa buhay niya. niya. Yun lang yung kailangan iwasan, I think, ng signal here. Yeah. But I think Bren have the tools to make that happen. Kasi you have to keep your eyes on the choke. Keep your eyes on the Leomor. What na ang mangyari kay Esmeralda? Oh, so, yeah. yun. Uh, the scary thought is yun nga, Esmeralda does have the shields. But because of the magic pen na pwede makuha ng isang Lunox, yes. hindi destroy. This is what the, the analysts are telling us. Lunox kind of answers the Esmeralda if not counters it. And then you also have the carry. So medyo prepared dito ang signal na definitely sa Esmeralda. Yep. But sometimes, napapanal ka masyado sa pag-contra ng isang hero na medyo pumapangit yung draft. No? What can you say about the Cofra Lunox carry? Is this a good opening at least for Signal Ultra? I like it. Uh... Lunox is one of the most beautiful tempo control na heroes. I mean, it's yeah. an item lang to sustain damage. Plus, a carry actually likes playing against an Esmeralda because it's a pass. It's a Esmeralda. And a carry under Yakuo, the comfort, alam mong kaya niya. He will be ready for that Esmeralda. Okay. Next uh, set of picks na lang siguro pa gusto niyo tayo sa inyo. What we expecting from from both these teams? Ooh. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Tanggalin ang lason, you don't wanna be that part. Ah, wala si ay tinawala pa ni Bey. Since may long carry sa Signal Ultra, do you think that Renny Sports will consider the cloud? I think yun nga yung nag na missing dito eh. At the same yeah. time, I like Cloud, but I'm actually surprised Signal didn't pick it up. I would it would have been great. Uh, but of course, Carry is definitely a great answer to Esmeralda. That's why they for for went it. And I think Bren and laki nilang nakuha because of having Claude on the last rotation. Yeah. And also, Bren Esports currently their draft sobrang sustainable, sobrang sustainable currently. And tasa durability when compared to Signal Ultra na burst burst oriented type. Your Pero tignan natin kung kukunin nila yung Claude dito kasi oh, no, it's currently tatlo pa rin yung viable marksman yeah. sa meta game. Kari na kuha ng Signal Ultra and sila pa yung mga unang pick dito sa second phase. Yeah. That's probably why they picked up the carry agad instead of the Claude because they're gonna ban the Claude anyways. Alam nila siguro, kabisado na rin of course ng Signal Ultra since they got the last pick carry. But for the next set of picks, Ooh. what are we gonna expect <laughs> from Signal Ultra? Is this Lapu-Lapu really no, no. the pick? Yeah, I don't think that was it. gonna be the case. I think right? Signal Ultra will just try to protect the late game. Kila natin Signal Ultra, nasa late game yung lakas nila eh. Okay. Well, yeah, we know from uh, the, their past performances yeah. now Signal Ultra, turtle nga sila kung, mag, yeah. kung maglaro, they will grow tall. 
Pero meron mga teams, they go wide. This team, they go tall para papalaki nila yung isang specific na hero to a point where it's very strong in the late game. Tamos, it's actually one of the comfort picks, definitely, para kay Yaku, Signal Ultra. One of the best Tamos players out there. Yeah, the funny thing is, hindi nga lang siya late game. Eh. More of mid game to late game. I agree. May security sila with Lunox. Napag-usapan natin kagabi, before this late show started, Lunox so powerful, bakit? Mm. Dalawa mm. ultimate niyan sa level 4. Kaya mag-dominate early on. Ubusin mo. Oh, they lock it in. We were talking about Franco. Ng when South, other Southeast Asian teams are actually picking it. More yes. than his control. Ang surprise factor kasi ng Franco, yung hindi mo matatagal sa kanya. It's like a Selena. Pero instead of Selena going in, Franco actually gathers yung kanilang mga opponents. Zendex, I think you want to say something about this pick. Pero yun nga, ikokontrahe ka agad si Ultra ngayon with, uh, I think, with a Diggy pick. Pinag-iisipin na nabuti mo niyan, Akai or a Diggy. Kasi ang magiging main point nito is they want to try and contest Ben Esports safely around the map. Kasi the power of Franco kasi, basta wala kang makikita, danger yun eh. Diggy. Yeah. The risk of getting hooked sobrang ano. Uh, uh, so, ano masakit? Yeah. Ang laki na matatanggal ng Diggy yep. in terms of reliability ng Ben Esports. Kung gaano kayo, alam mo yung magre-rely ka sa hook ni Franco tapos makakancel lang yung yeah. Diggy ult. Magre-rely ka sa wave of the dragon, cancel Diggy ult. So, good luck sa positioning ni I have I know he's gonna do well in this hero. He's been using it over and over again. Dito lang natin kung paano mag-walk uh, around sila sa mapa. Third sprint picked up para sa Tamos. Purify naman para sa ating uh, carry. I wanna ask you now. Half bago tayo pumunta sa mismong game natin, what are your predictions, guys? And why? Rockheart. I would say Signal Ultra will have this mid to late game. I, I expect if umabot ay 10 minutes, tapos hindi pa lamang yung ready sports, Signal Ultra is gonna come out with this. Signal Ultra, how about you, Mr. Oh, I, like, I like Signal Ultra's plan very much. Too. Last pick, Diggy, does so much. Isang magandang time journey. Ano na magagawa ng Minotaur, ano na magagawa ng Franco. So it's signal. comfort hero, Signal Ultra. Signal, dalawa para sa Signal. Is this gonna be a yeah. unanimous panel? Magiging unanimous to, I'll go with Signal kasi yung lineup ng Bread Esports is, is un untested kumbaga sa Philippine meta. So, okay. pretty scary din kung gaano gagana sa kanilang Franco pick na to. Now, this is gonna be interesting dahil in, in, a, in a game like this, na sobrang intense, mukhang unanimous ang panel natin. But of course, the power casters, meron silang ibang kwento dito pa ni Grado. At ibabato na natin sa ating malupit na duo. It's gonna be Midnight and Butters. May marami salamat, Wolf. And uh, kami nga pala yung magiging shoutcasters. I am Butters. Kasama ko ngayon si Midnight and the draft, mga kaibigan, Franco. Making its debut, yep. hindi pa nagagamit to mga kaibigan sa buong MPN. Bagong bago and Brent Esports, I like the surprise na binibigyan nila kay Signal Ultra dito. You might have prepared for our draft, pero susurprisein namin kayo with again a last pick, Franco. Pero may, may ganda namang answer yung Signal Ultra. Again, they've touched on this, sabi ng panel, yung Diggy pick, yung Diggy last pick, it eliminates the teamfight presence ng Brent Esports. And at the same time, kung iisipin mo, Selena and Franco is on the same page. Mm -hmm. What you want to do with the Franco is... Take out someone, magbuka, the then isolate him. Smash it's the same thing as the Selena, pero magkaiba lang nung pinatutunguhan. Pero let's head on to the game. Let us go for the team rundown for the side of Brand Esports. It's going to be Rebo on the show. Hayes will be the Minotaur. Yuji on the Esmeralda. Coco on the Leo. And Payne as a Franco. And on the side of Signal Ultra, you have Vets on the Kufra. The Sanya sa kanyang Lunos. D on the Diggy Fuse sa kanyang Thames. At Yaku on his signature carry. Okay, so we're actually seeing a bit of uh, a bit of shake up here, para sa side ng uh, Signal Ultra. We're actually seeing few go for the thumbs, mm -hmm. then Yaku is going for the carry. Yep. So ibig sabihin dito hindi na sila yung same Signal Ultra na inexpect natin dito. They actually switch up roles. Na feeling ko dati kung sila yung dating Signal Ultra, few would be going for the carry. Mm -hmm. Tapos si Yaku yung nag thumbs. Yep. Ito siguro yung adjustment na nakita natin for Signal Ultra. Again, wala na silang space para magtago na kahit anong strategy rito. First match against Brent Esports will give our best. Kung ito yung magiging sagot nila, Signal Ultra, I do think, sabi nga na paano natin, they have this game kapag umabot tayo ng mid to late game stages. And always remember, nung last season finals din, there is one foreign meta hero na biglang pumasok sa ating exactly. meta, which is technically Kimi. At si Kimi yung nag-dictate dung buong finals na yun. Yep, and Brent Esports, bukang 
they can shape up the meta rito ng ating third season of MPL. Signal Ultra, again, they're still not lost in this game. They have a chance to surprise Bren Esports para maklutch nila yung championship na pag... Uh, yung sinusubukan nilang kunin ng title ulit. And look at Payne going for the hook. It will miss Yaku. Fast, very fast on his hands. Phantom Step, yun lang naman talaga yung gagawin niya. Yep. For Bren Esports, again, they need the level 4. Ang, ay, ang uh, timing nila dito is yung early game. Early to mid game, they need to find those team fights. Hanggat hindi pang online yung carry, again, this is the nature of carry. Medyo late na go online, it's always gonna be 4v5. And Ren Esports should take advantage of that fact. And look at this, there's actually a converge dito mga kaibigan sa may kitna. They're trying to uh, control the jungle. Para mismo, pero dito, oh, may nahatak na. Diggy oh, oh. gets caught out. Time journey, mga kaibigan. Nagtatakbo wala sila dito. Pero Jets, they want to fight. They're in three. Oh Saka my God. Now. He's still trying to run away and he will go down on that side, mga kaibigan. And that is a four-man takedown, mga kaibigan. Parasite na Signal Ultra. What a skirmish for them. D with the perfect time journey again, eliminating the prowess of Ren Esports. We are gonna fight. 4v4, wala yung Leo Mergidon, Signal Ultra, they wanted that team fight, especially in front of the turtle. And technically, Desanya got what he wanted. He got the turtle and three kills on the side. Pero they still want more. Tex dito mga kaibigan, nasa pinakagitna. Look at that. Pinawa mo at Curry, nahuli yung tatlo. And Tex with a flicker out. Will he get away? Rebo just trying to go for the chase. Bouncing Reverse ball. time is there. Tex dito with a bouncing ball. He's oh. trying to jump. Tumalun siya mga kaibigan. But Coco will be there for the intercept. That's going to be a kill. Di mga kaibigan, tumatakbo. Time's journey. Ginamit niya dito. But Payne still wants blood. They will stop there. Bren Esports, they capitalize with the punish. Signal Ultra, yes, you can fight, pero not that deep. You were in, you were under the tier 1 tower. And Bren Esports, they will capitalize those mistakes. Again, sila pa rin yung early to mid-game timing dito. And nakita mo dun midnight, kinorner nila si Diggy. Nakakita ka na ba ng itlog na na-corner? Basag ang itlog, mga kaibigan. And Bren Esports immediately taking objective. Although lamang ng 600 gold yung signal utang dito, But wala silang play. pakailam. Nakakita ka na ba ng Coco na na corner pero nakakuha pa rin na isang kill. At the very least, it's a one for one trade and Bren Esports, they got an objective away from that and immediately removing the buff from Signal Ultra. Signal Ultra, pwede nilang gawin yon pero it's not gonna be that easy as alam nila, tuloy-tuloy lang yung objective ng Bren Esports dito sa side ng mapa nila. And this is bad for the side of Signal Ultra. I mean, they got the lead on kills, pero ang iisipin natin dito, oh, kung nakikita mo yung passing ng Bren Esports dito, they're getting what they want. Nai-invade nila yung jungle dito na Signal Ultra and if you're in the lead, Mas gusto mo, yung network pumapanig sa'yo. Exactly. And I do like yung maneuver na ginagawa ng friend dito. Whenever walang digi doon sa lane, doon sila pumupunta. Ito yung team fight natin. Pag wala kayong pang-cancel, we are gonna head on that lane. Friend Esports, they are pressuring yung mid lane natin once again. Habang, wala, habang nag-perform pa yung carry, alam nila, hindi lalaban yung signal ultra dito. Perfect timing lang ng time's journey. Yung babaligtad sa laban nila. Okay, so right now, both teams dito, nagtatansyahan sila. They're trying to see kung may mag-overextend sa bawat isa. As we're seeing Tets just going to the bush. Pero ang pinaka problema dyan is Bane. If he goes for a hook dyan sa bush na yan, there might be a chance na hindi makagalaw dito yung Kufra. There's a turn turn on this Sanya na. Siguro tininihintay na timing ng Signal Ultra. They are gonna try and uh, take down this turtle. Pero Brent Esports, they will contest. They have the team fight utilities right now. Haze, nag-aabang ng tamang positioning. Signal Ultra dito, nakapwesto rin yung apat na heroes. Pero sino mo una? And this is bad for the side of Signal Ultra. But they go for the turnaround. That's dito mga kaibigan with the bounce. Yuri! Lunox, they actually get the show. Pero Tyrant's Rage on three. They still want to fight. That's in the side of dito. Just trying to man up against mga kaibigan dito sa side ng Freddy Sports. The sustain! Yuji, I am the king of KDA! The sustain of the Mage God! Yuji, asan yung pupunit ng shield? Wala! And Freddy Sports will immediately go inside the turtle. Go on test. Si Pew dito on that jams. Pero what can you really do? Papunta na yung digi natin. Pero wala siyang ultimate. Walang team fight ang Signal Ultra. And it is gonna be a free turtle for Freddy Sports. And the times have changed. Bren Esports dito, nakita niya yung ginawa nila. Ito yung sinasabi natin. Desanya can only do so much. Rebo dito with the kick on Pew. Hindi niya mapapabalik. And uh, they will just stop there. You do have the magic penetration on the Lunox. Pero what can you do if Bren Esports 
gets the first initiate. Yes, meron ang times journey, pero the control is nile layer ng Brent Esports. After ng journey, that's the time you can fight against Lisanya. I do think na yung signal on ka din dito, hindi nila ginagamit yung utility ng uh, Digi. Kasi if ever man na uh, you want to be safe, you can just put bombs yeah. dun sa may side. And if ever gumalaw yun, that means there is someone na malapit dun sa area na yun. Yeah, you can control territories on the side of Signal Ultra. You can actually dictate kung saan ka lalaban. You'll know kung yung Bren Esports nagtatago. And you can threaten always yung usage ng Time's Journey. The problem is, lagi silang inuuna ng Bren Esports. They always go in with the Minotaur para magamit kagad yung Time's Journey ni Didi dito. That's why si Ribo nakakaharap lagi ng perfect initiation. Kahit nagpatay siya rin kanina, at least nagawa niya yung trabaho niya. And UG, tatapusin na lang yun. You have to give a lot of props dito kay Hayes. The Minoan Furies na binabato niya dito was so on point na dumarating na sa point na parang wala na talagang bawi yung Signal Ultra. Pero ang kailangan din natin tignan dito is pain. Just being a pain, mga kaibigan. Tyrant's Rage, Coco with the dash out. And he will just get away. But the push will be there. Here comes Barbiel, mga kaibigan. Coco dito, hindi niya kaya eh. Hindi niya kaya yung damage output. Yeah, but it's stopping. It's stopping Signal Ultra and naiwan si Pew. Doon sa may mid lane. It is gonna be kill. A kill for UG. And they go straight for the Minoan Fury. Ayon na nila ibigay. And that's going back in. And they go for the revenge. And they might actually take a tower. Ito yung pinagkaiba nila. Although sabihin natin, Bren Esports got the kill on Thumbs. Nakuha pa rin naman na Signal Ultra yung second tower and the kill on their off lane as well. Yep, I do like yung ginagawang response ng Signal Ultra dito. We don't really need to respond on every team fight na ibabato na sa atin ng Bren Esports. We can take towers of our own. Pwede tayo mag-pressure. And that's why, kung makita nyo ngayon, equal lang halos yung net worth. May lamang na isang libo yung Bren Esports. Pero again, remember, Signal Ultra sila yung may hawak na late game. Concentrated energy going to the side of Disanya. Tets will get the Oracle, so those are two items, two power spikes na gusto nyong abusuhin sa yep. side nyo. And again, this is team fight for Ben Esports. Kapag nakuha ng Signal Ultra, tuloy-tuloy yung mga items sila, they're just gonna keep on snowballing. You can prevent Ben Esports from taking team fight, and sa nangyayari ngayon, dinedelay lang nila yung game for Yaku to be able to farm up. Okay, so the advantages na meron yung Franco dito is hindi mo kailangan mag-face check technically. You can just keep on throwing the you can just keep on throwing the hook. Yep. Tapos if ever may tao doon, they will get caught out and they try to go for the steal on that crab coin but hindi talaga natatama. And again, just look at the positioning of this Minotaur. See Hayes. Alam niya hook. Hindi, hindi natatama 'yon. And they go straight for the hook. They actually delayed the buff. Pero si Cho, si Ribo was split pushing on the bottom lane. There's always two objectives for Bren Esports. Sabi niya, kanina pa kayo sumasagot ng sarili niyo objective. Ngayon, wala kayong sagot sa kinagawa ng Bren Esports. There's two objectives. Sine threaten nila yung Lord and Ribo was taking the tower. Oh, pain. They are in in a corner, mga kaibigan. Signal Ultra, but endless battle dito para kay Pew. That means he's scaling up well. Technically, Desanya has been getting all the kills, pero it's a race against time for the side of Red Esports. Kari dito, he's he's just farming. Yep. Do you like us to Kari dito? Mago farm lao na mago farm. Mama yah, kapag hindi yun ako makontrol, you're in for a wild ride. And Red Esports again with amazing information control. They know na medyo malayo pa si Kari dito. That's why they're confident to take down the third set. Pero medyo makulat. Hayes jumping in. He wants to be known as Fury. Asa na lalaban yung Red Esports. Asa yung sagot. Fury, bola kay Hayes. Time's journey. It's quite late though. Pero kung tayo mag lines. Eh, the way of the dragon has been used. What a play, mga kaibigan, from CJ Ribo! Kasi kay CJ Ribo, mga kaibigan, si Dorado! The Hulk! Pain! You! Last man standing! And Red Esports, they don't need to go for the push. We go straight for the Lord! Sabi ni Pain dito, Disanya, saan punta? Hook kita rito, halika! And Red Esports will take Lord without any contestion from Signal Ultra. Kailangan mo tignan kung ano nangyari doon. Ribo! Going for the way of the dragon, dun kay Pew. Not to kill Pew, pero dinownout niya ng malayo si Pew para hindi na siya makasama dun sa mismo team fight. Exactly. Dito ito ang laki ng problema niya. There's always a split from Bren Esports. A threat with the Minoan's Fury and yung way of the dragon ni Ribo. Hinihimay lang ng Bren Esports yung pagpass nila against Signal Ultra. And nahuli pa si oh! Tam Tito and ang hook! Papuki and pa! Style points! For Bren Esports. Alam mo yung tawag doon? Ano? Aliyup. Aliyup. Pinasa. 
Pinasa! Pinasa ni Rebo kay Pain, sabi ni Pain. Akin na yan, ako dadaktak dyan. <laughs> ako ang pogi dito. Pero for Bren Esports, isang team, isang objective against Signal Ultra. They are pressuring two lanes right now. Habang si Lord nagmamarcha sa may top lane, three lanes are being pushed out by Bren Esports. And nakahuli pa! Oh my goodness, na na ka! Pero tayo ng stage! Wellness! Times journey! Nasa gitna na lahat mga kaibigan! Pero wala yung nagawa! Wala sila na kumagod! Oh, 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 oh. That is a very scary Franco mga kaibigan! Hatak ng hatak! Signa Ultra! Hindi sila pwede lumabas ng base! And again, all three lanes are shoved in! Yaku! San ka magpa-farm! If you hear, trying his best mga kaibigan, Tex! Nag-stretching dun sa may likod! Hindi naman tinuloy yung talon! Hey! Oh, hey! 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 Sir! What he can hit, that with the two man knock up using the flicker to actually get in and out of the fight. But still, you trying to man up, and right now the Lord is down, but still the damage has been done. Oh my god, another jump in and signal ultra. Can you really defend? I'm straining, but papa, there's any more There's an immortality on that, and the shutdown, the shutdown, you're gonna hear some Esports double kill for the Luno. Pero he's dito, oh! double connect against Tadiki! Oh my god, the second place coming up from Hayes! Alam mo siya sabi nga natin, in terms of player oh, instinct, oh, oh, oh. in terms of player instinct, Hayes was born to play ML. Ito na yung sinasabi natin mga kaibigan, nakapag kasi Hayes ang umawak na isang hero, especially in the initiation. Diyos ko. Pre, ang brand esports religioso. Nung pinanatan ni Yaku yung Lord tumalun si Hayes, wag mo sasaktan ang Panginoon ko! Oh. Goodness, but still, Sanya on the other hand, still has a score of 9-3. So, laban pa, laban pa. Laban sabi pa naman. Ultra, hanggat hindi tapos ang game, hanggat hindi bagsak ang trono, lalaban pa, comeback kings nga for Signal Ultra. They still have the chance. Again, pag umabot ang late game, they have the necessary damage to take down the heroes of the Esports. And look at, look at Pain. Just going to the buff. Sinasabi niya dito, hahatakin ko yan. If ever man may kumukuha yan, i-reset ko yan. That's the only thing they're doing. Kasi nga hapag ginagawa nila yon, there is a wave na nagpo-push out. They're just delaying the inevitable, mga kaibigan. And si UG dito, titignan niyo yung health bar niya. Mas malaki pa yung shield kesa sa health points mismo. Ito yung sinasabi ng panel kanina. How can you take down yung, yung uh, Esmeralda natin na tinatayuan na yung front lines? Yes, you have a carry, you have a Lunox, but you don't have the damage right now. Kulang pa yung bato ng Signal Ultra. Yaku, trying to farm up. Ito yung pinagos niya. He's been getting the Thunder Belt. Bulwark na ako, a Courage Bulwark na ako. Dito ni Diggy, just to have the extra movement speed to jump in, jump out. And Tets dito, ang laki ng role na kailangan niya gampanan. I don't know if he's feeling the pressure right now, pero yung Tyrant's Rage, kailangan niya gawin yung pinakaunang Tyrant's Rage yung ginawa niya sa game na to. It's just very hard kasi Bren Esports, they're, they're always splitting yung team fight. Dalawa lagi yung kailangan problema ni D. Tsaka ni Tets dito, and you have a problem them on the form of Franco na kanina pa, Lord, hook ng hook. Soon. Lagi siya nangingisda sa side ng Signal Ultra, and most of the time, nakuhuli niya yung mga tamang isda. They go straight for the Lord. It's a no-brainer, kumbaga, if ever you want to end this, this is a level 2 Lord. Mas mabilis makakapag-push to. And uh, look at the knock-up, wow. Mga kaibigan, just uh, making the place. Lord, Lord making the na. place. Bren Esports, isang lane na lang yung problema nila. Signal Ultra dito, yes, you have a chance to come back. Pero kailangan mo pang pag-farm in si Yaku. Right now, hindi makalabas ng base yung Signal Ultra unless apat sila na sama-sama. It's just you. Pero remember, na-hook na kanina yan. Naka-experience na ng impyerno yan. And Bren Esports, kanina pa si Pain dito. Holy ka, boy! Pero nalaban ang Bren Esports. Hindi, mag-disengage muna. Disiplina, Coco. Going in with the Barbiel. Ang ganda pasok. And going in, UG, mga kaibigan. Time's journey. And here comes the stars. Coming out, mga kaibigan, for Esperanza. He will take the oh, ticket. Three. And Jelly Hayes! Yelly Hayes, mga kaibigan! Pumasok na naman sa tatlo. And they will go straight for the initiation. Yaku's down. Minow and Fury. Si Sanya dito. Just trying. Look at the just damage. Just trying to defend this, mga kaibigan. And look at Yuji. Mas malaki yung armor niya sa buhay niya. Yuji, anong ginagawa mo? And Fury, trying his best to defend against Bren Esports. Mapapatay ba niya? Si Rebo dito. And napatay si Prako sa may backline. That is Kufra taking him down. Pero si Fury, buhay pa rin lumalaban na. Pero he's taken down by Yuji. And isama mo pa si Di Sanya. Lunox will fall as well. And Signal Ultra will have have to succumb to Brand Esports. Sabi nyo, 
Kayo ang comeback kings. Pero anong isasagot nyo sa king of KDA? Yeah!